In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to find ethereal samples and how to flip those samples then into beats. If that sounds good to you, please do leave a like and subscribe. There will be a download link in the description for the drum kit. It has all the sounds that I use in this video, along with a few extra ethereal samples that you can use in your own beats. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. So I'm actually going to show you three different ways that I find these types of samples. Two of them will be sample based and the third one will be how to like kind of make your own kind of ethereal samples. But anyway, the first option is is to use a website called samplet.io. Basically all it does is it just cycles through uh, like unknown music on uh, YouTube. But yeah, I have some specific settings to help me find even more ethereal samples. So if you go on to filters and you go to the style, I added acoustic, ambient, and emo. And if you hit apply, normally you do find some pretty decent samples. See, this one's pretty good. And the thing that I like to do, especially with YouTube, if I'm trying to look for things to chop up and sample is if you just press the uh, numbers on your keyboard, you can skip through the video and you can normally find some chops just like that. Now, the second way that I do it is I go on YouTube and I just look up ambient samples, serial samples, vocals, and just filter by playlist. And then you just go through these. I'm sure you'll find something. The only problem with this is normally people, a lot of people do sample these. High chance that some other people have been, like it's been sampled loads and loads of times. And the third way using no samples. So you need to start off with some kind of sample that you have made yourself. So I'm just gonna bring in one of my loops. So this is the loop that I've decided to use. And then basically what you want to do is root it to a track and uh, add like the biggest reverb that you possibly can. Oh yeah, I forgot. You normally want to send it to another track. So send the send the reverb. And then on the actual original track, you want to uh, take it away from the master. So all you're hearing is the wet reverb. And then just keep messing around with the settings. And then what I like to do is maybe chop it up a few bits find just random, random parts of the sample to play. And then once I've chosen a few different things like these, I'll just make sure to give it some space to leave a reverb tail like this. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit um, arm disc to record this. So I'm gonna record this track, put the arm, uh, I'm gonna turn on my recording and just press play. Nice, so now we've just recorded the wet reverb so now you can delete the reverb track, uh, delete everything, bring this back to track one, make sure to reroute it, unroute it there, unarm it. So now we just have this. So now I kind of just want to find places to chop. So I'll explain better how to chop up these samples when I actually get into making a beat, but I'll just quickly make a little chop now. And then I'm just going to add a low cut to move some of that bass and maybe some OTT. So you see that there's already something there. Um, with different samples, it really depends on how what sample you pick at the beginning. But normally, if you maybe if you add some vocals to the original loop, it normally comes out a bit better. But anyway, let's move on to the actual beat that I create. Okay, so for the uh, main sample of the track that I used, I used um, this song here called Retire. I found this uh, sample on Sampler. Um, I'll play it real quick so you can hear how it sounds. Now to do the chops, there's a few different things you can do. Uh, you can use a plugin called Stereo Sample, which makes it really easy to find chops, but this is uh, not free, so I don't recommend it. Um, you can also use FL Studios just sampler called uh, Fruity Slicer. It's pretty basic, but it's, it's all right. And you can also use Slice X, which is pretty similar but all you need to do is just drag the sample into here and then it'll create, you can create chops and then play it through the piano roll. But for this beat, I actually didn't do that. I'm not sure why, but what I did is I just went through and just clicked around like this and then just found different places which worked in a melody. And then I just lined them up like this and played them all together. So my sample sounds like this. Pretty simple, I pitched it up 700 cents and I also added uh, an EQ to cut the lows and a bit of the highs and I also added some OTT. But I thought this wasn't enough so I decided to sample another track. Me, yeah. 
And what I did to this track is I used FL Studio stem separator. So if you click up here and then go extract stems from sample, I just chose vocals and press extract. And then I had this. And all I did then was I sped it up and made it match the BPM of the sample I created earlier. Once again, I just chopped it up into very small sections. So in the end, this is how the vocal chop sounded above the original sample. And then for the mixing for these, for this track, I added a plugin called Spaced Out, which basically is just a kind of like a reverb, echoey kind of thing. You can achieve the same kind of sound with just reverbs and delays, but uh, it made it a bit easier. And then I also added another EQ, removing all the lows. So together with the other sample, it sounds like this. And one more thing when chopping up samples, normally when you do a lot of chops, it generates a lot of clicking, but a very easy way to fix that is if you double click on your sample and go to de-clicking mode and use generic blend bleeding, which is the one I use most of the time, it should fix that. If you think it's chopping it too much, maybe use a different, a different one, but generic is the one I use the most. Okay, now let's move on to drums. So there's a drum kit uh, that will be linked in the description that you can download and you'll get all the drums that I use in this track and along with some other samples. But the drums are very simple. Uh, this is how they sound. So yeah, pretty simple. The main thing that's carrying it is that um, crash sound. And then for the mixing for the drums, it's once again, very simple. I didn't do much, I just leveled them. And then on my master, I added a soft clipper and I boosted the highs quite a bit and the lows. Uh, the soft clipper just helps the 808 just like punch through and also helps the drums hit a lot harder. And the pattern for the uh, 808 is very simple. Uh, this is how it sounds. So yeah, just going along with the drums, following the root notes of the sample. But yeah, that's about it for the video. Um, if you did enjoy, please do like and subscribe. It really does help me out. I'll play a preview of the full beat at the end now. But thanks for watching. Goodbye.